Right now we're taking a look at Barry Bonds' 756th home run. And we're going to use this clip to demonstrate one very simple point that Jack has been trying to explain to Sean on the discussion board. And that is that the bat travels ab about 200 degrees or more from initiation to contact, whereas shoulder rotation is somewhere in the 90 degree range. Uh, Jack tried to explain that to Sean, and Sean responded that uh, the barrel of the bat and shoulder rotation move the exact same amount. And uh, then we got this post from Sean, um, wherein he states, Stop dodging the issues. You're making no sense and pulling things out of thin air. What the heck do you mean the bat travels through 200 degrees? Look at the clip. The bat travels the, quote, same distance the shoulders rotate. Stop denying video just to support your theory. You sound as bad as the second engine guys. Just making stuff up. And that was by Sean. Um, we're now going to look at Bonds' swing just to test the, Sean's theory out and see if he's right here. Bonds right now is taking his stride and he's getting ready to launch the bat and shoulder rotation. We'll go forward until that occurs, which is right about here. I've drawn a line down Bonds' bat, indicating the position where he starts. We'll now advance Bonds forward to the lag position, about right there. Okay, I've drawn another line showing the lag position. We'll now use the angle measure tool and calculate the distance. Should be able to be in the top left hand screen. It's about 128 degrees to this position right here. We'll now advance Bonds forward to the point of contact. Okay, there's contact. We'll now measure the angle here. See, it's about 121 degrees, so if we add the 128 degrees to the lag position plus the 121 degrees to contact, we get actually almost 250 degrees of rotation of the barrel of the bat from initiation to contact. Now let's take a look and see how far the shoulders rotate. I just drew a line through Bonds' shoulders indicating the initiation of the swing point. We'll advance him forward to contact, and we will measure this distance. We've now placed a line through Bonds' shoulders at the point of contact, and we'll measure the distance. Using the angle tool, right about there, it's 98 degrees. So you've just seen Bonds' 756th home run where the barrel of the bat went about 250 degrees from the point where he started shoulder rotation to contact. And you've also seen that Bonds' shoulders rotate about 98 degrees during that same initiation to contact. I hope that clears that up. And uh, for the rest of you, that should be perfectly obvious.